Wow. Okay. My mic was set to a random microphone that doesn't exist. That was not my fault. This, like, there was an update to Streamlabs recently or something, and just... I don't know what is going on. Okay. Bows. If you guys hear the ding... We're good. Okay. Fucking hell, man. This, this new microphone setup. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to play this mod. I've been looking forward to this. I was going to do a Tomb Raider speedrunning thing, but I'm going to do this instead. And that's okay, because it gives me more time to finish learning some more levels. But I'm going to go ahead and start this up, because we're going to have a lot of downtime. Because I did play a little bit of this, just to like, make sure that it worked. And then I couldn't stop playing, and then I got all the way to the RPD. And I was like, okay, I have to stop, because I'm going to spoil it. You lose, big guy. Oh, and Victorious oh, FIG, thank you so much for the ten dollars, and the one and only W, thank you for the two dollars. Back in games and gray in games, or we were, oh, black in games or gray in games. Ah, I don't know. Oh, is it not showing up? Okay, now the game's not showing up. Just a moment. Wait, what the hell? Okay, hold on. I swear to God. There we go, sort of. What the? <laughs> There's not gonna be any issues today. No, cause I'm smart. Mm. All right, there you go. You saw nothing. Everything's fine, we're good. How's everyone doing today? Oops. Okay, I have to stay on this window. A bizarre incident <clears throat> occurred. Oh, thank you, Vandy. Okay. So this seems like you're just playing Resident Evil 2 at first. I thought I didn't install the mod correctly. But you guys will see. This is we need more comedic mods in Resident Evil. It's amazing. And Pat's daughter, thank you for the three dollars. So happy you're playing this. Much love your way. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thanks. Much appreciated. Take this. <clears throat> what? Oh. Freeze. Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing? What are you here? doing here? Hold your fire. I'm a human. Here. <laughs> this is what you're looking for. I know, right? Silver. <sighs> Sorry about that. Uh, thank you, Arc. I thought you were one of them. Arcturus, Arcturus. What's going on in this town? Hold on. Oh, I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. All right. So this is where it's different. You try to leave. Oh, it's locked. Oh, hey, Brofez. Wait. So, it's a... Whoa, I don't remember that. I think that sound played a little early. <sighs> My favorite Resident Evil character is Claire. Oh my god! Nemesis. 25 facts about Nemesis. Why didn't I think of that? That's a great idea. <clears throat> Fuck! Really? The one and only W, thank you for the $2. 25 facts about Bruce McGivern. I don't think I could come up with 25 facts about him, but... Uh, Oh, I'm not picking up any ammo because I never do. Sorry. Um, I have not played Dead Aim, but I would like to stream that for you guys at some point. Are my emotes working? Okay. I can only see the chat. Everything else is covered by the game, so... Oh my god, Elegons. I'm gonna make that into a... 
So last time I had Lisa J on, uh, she she's the voice of Sherry in this game. She I got her to speak in Sherry's voice, and she said, uh, "Claire, I found an ink ribbon." So I'm gonna replace the emote I have of Sherry blowing up to that one. I'm gonna have her like hold up an ink ribbon. You're like, "Oh my God, little Sherry!" Because I mean, wow. Like, to get one of the actual voice actors to say a specific line for your YouTube channel, that's like, like, ha. Huh? Oh, did you guys see that? Oh, and also, I got in touch with another OG Resident Evil voice actor. Um, he's in the game very briefly, but we love him. And that is the original Brad. Not from one, but from three. And he's interest. He seems like he's like I want to be part of the Resident Evil community. So I'm like, oh bitch, we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you in here. Don't worry. <laughs> oh man. Oh hey, Gruff. Who, who are you? Oh, you must be the new guy, Leon. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been canceled. <clears throat> what happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving zombies in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the <laughs> other like, yeah. stars members discovered that oh, hey, Mark. Umbrella was behind everything. everything. They risked their lives, lives to, to reveal, reveal the, the truth, truth. But, but no, no one, one believed, believed them. them. Not long after that, all oh, of this started to happen. Uh, uh, hang in there. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> Just rescue the survivors in the other room. Um, Ophia Cohan, thank you so much for becoming a member. Here, the... take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. It hasn't popped now up go. yet, but... But... Thank you. Just go! Fine, but I'm coming back for you. Fine, but I'm coming back for you. Just hold on. Just hold on. I look in like, like, ADR this entire game. <laughs> oh no, Diamond. Her internet is buttering. Oh man, it is so hot today. <clears throat> Hope you guys are doing all right in this heat. This is pretty bad. It is currently 22 degrees Celsius here. I don't remember what the Fahrenheit was because I was chatting with my British friends and we have to convert everything when we talk. The light ring's on. It's right in front of me. See, I have a shadow. I gotta look pretty for the camera. Okay, I accidentally skipped this last time, but here's an alternate camera angle. Kendo, what are you doing outside the RPD? You gotta get in here. And Daniel Dark Magician, thank you for the two pounds. How about finding the original Kendo voice actor? Hmm. I feel like there's all these Resident Evil voice actors who are out there who don't understand how iconic they are. Like, they're like accidentally like a big deal, you know what I mean? Oh man. The first time I watched this cutscene, it was the scariest shit I'd ever seen in my life. <laughs> Do I have any mod ideas? Oh, I've got so many mod ideas. I want to do like a Resident Evil Vaporwave game. I would love to do like some comedic ones like these, like, you know, because the funny thing about this is we're, we're the only ones who understand why this is funny because we know the game so well that we know it's kind of like, you know, if you watch Scary Movie without watching the original parodies, you don't fully get it. Let's go light a fire. 
for no reason. <clears throat> Sorry about that, babe. Ugh, hold on. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Checking something. Sherry. Ah, uh, victorious F I G. Thank you for the ten dollars. Resident Evil Two, but all the enemies are replaced with any of the boot characters. Tigger would make an excellent liquor. That would be somehow more terrifying. I know, like, it would be cool to recreate some other things. Um, ah, I wish I could tell you guys there's a project that I'm working on with another developer. We're kind of doing it in our spare time. He's doing the programming and I'm doing the, like, cutscenes and graphics and gameplay design. Um, but it's, I can't tell you, because one, I don't want an NDA from Capcom, and two, it's just not ready yet. But um, whenever that happens, <laughs> I guess keep an eye out for it. <clears throat> you don't have AC in Europe? Yeah, it's the same here. So in California, when you live anywhere in the proximity of a beach, which I do, there's no air conditioning. Like, nobody has air conditioners. You have ceiling fans and maybe a room fan and that's it. So, like, when it's hot, it's just hot. And when it's cold, it's just cold. There's nothing you can do about it. You'd think for what we pay in rent, they'd include one, but no. <clears throat> do you guys know, is it like, is it the whole game? Or is this mod, like, just a short one? Because I've, I've been avoiding all spoilers. I wanted to experience this with you guys. Oh, Vandercool. That's a great idea. You guys know how much I love the environments. 25 facts. Oh, 50 facts about the RPD. <gasps> I'm going to write that down. 50 facts. RPD. Oh, yeah. Just got a whole bunch of new content to make for you guys. That's gonna be really fun to research. Oh my god, that made me excited. My nipples are hard. <clears throat> Hello, Liena from Germany. Yeah, the hair, the hair's better now. It's not completely fried. I'm actually gonna go get a haircut after this stream, so I'll just tell her to <laughs> be like, make me pretty. Cause like, look at the back, like my hair's gotten so long and ugly. All right. Is this gonna be something else? It's the whole game, but Leon, okay, cool. Leon! It's good, good to, to see, see you're still, still among the living. living. It looks like we're not gonna It find looks like your brother's in another castle. <laughs> Resident Evil game, but it's just opening doors. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's, Let's split, split up, up look, look for, for any survivors, survivors and get, get out of here. Right. Right. One last thing. <clears throat> Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Well, you know, okay, so, um, doing game design recently, I've been looking at different things. Oh! What are you doing? <laughs> I don't have a clue. <laughs> Why was he in a locker, what? Hey, my shotgun! Kendo! <laughs> what the hell? Okay, it's gonna be one of those mods. Claire, did you see that? Claire, stop being depressed. I can't believe what is happening to this city. Oh, well, you're no fun. I'm leaving. Um, like... <clears throat> so I've been playing around with like RPG engines and stuff like that and the funny thing is like like you've heard of those RPG maker games that don't have any combat and they're just like story driven I think any game you want to make can be in that way where you're just telling a story 
and however the gameplay you want it to be, you just do it that way. So like if you want a game that's like this, like classic Resident Evil where you're just walking around looking at stuff and there's characters, think of like during the storm. You don't need zombies, you don't need combat, you could just be solving puzzles and experiencing a story, you know? Same with like an RPG engine or, or whatever. And I feel like it's really... Whoa, those hands are different. Really unutilized. Think of like those cozy games or like games like Stardew Valley, you know, where it's like, you know, it's just chill and relax and have a good time. Ah! Uh, nope, nope, nope! No! Ah! <laughs> oh, thank you, warrior. Or Don. Don Tropical. Thank you for the $5. Go get yourself some sushi. I will, buddy. Thank you so much. Thanks. Much appreciated. Take this! Muchísimas gracias. Arigato gozaimasu. Okay. Now, let's get... The spared. Spared. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I guess I got the shotgun after all. Damn you, Kendo! Wait! But I don't have the spade key. Do I have to get the spade key somewhere else? How am I gonna... Oh god, so they moved around items. Oh! Oh, the door wasn't... Wait, no, this door was locked! What's happening? <laughs> this game's throwing me for a loop. I'm confused. <clears throat> and I'm playing on easy just because I don't want to, like... Struggle. I just want to have a nice, fun time with you guys. Ah, that's how I get out of bed every day. Prepare yourself. Oh, God. Kai, what does that mean? Ugh, my neighbors. Here we go. Um, I guess like that's another thing. Any mods that can elaborate on the story. So like in Resident Evil 3, when you find the Umbrella Merc with the girl and they're dead on the floor, a little mod explaining their backstory, or like the whole John and Ada thing. You know, Sherry and her parents when she was a child and, you know, dealing with that. There's there's so much you could do. And as During the Storm showed us, there's, there's a lot of potential for stuff like that. character doesn't have a mod that you wish they did. Hmm. Ah, uh, what character? Oh! Oh my god, Kendo. He's everywhere. Oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> like, how did they even think of this, like, mod idea? It's great. Sorry about any voices you hear outside, like, my neighbors just, they don't know how to speak. Like, everything they do is just yelling. <clears throat> they don't have indoor voices. Oops, my inventory's full. Man, I haven't played this in a while. It still, it still hits me. Like, mmm, Resident Evil. 
all over my body. darkness I I am still working on my review of that I really don't even know what to say it's not great it's not bad it's just yeah I guess I'll have to close this window hopefully not die uh, my favorite f I'm not a big cake person but I love, oops, I love tiramisu and I love carrot cake. But like with just like lightly sweetened. Too much sugar just makes me feel like I'm gonna like die. Um, I'll save my game here just because I don't know what's coming and you guys made me nervous. Oh, Dale, thank you for the five pounds, buddy, and thank you for being here. Thank you for being a friend. Oh my god, there was a woman who, like, parked her car outside earlier, and she was blaring Celine Dion. I was like, if she does that while I'm streaming, I'm gonna have to mute my mic or I'm gonna get copyrighted. Okay, Diamond, you can't be the Diamond Key and the Bishop plug. This is what you're looking for, right? <laughs> the Bishop butt plug. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, where are the crows? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I like how, like, all of this is just him breaking out of things and running away screaming like that's everything so far like why does why is he screaming I'm an officer I'm here to help <laughs> relax <laughs> listen Lopez I'm sorry that you fell but don't take it out on my cake uh, Bropez went to my 30th birthday party at a roller rink, and I did not have chocolate cake, and people were not happy about it. But like, sorry, not sorry, I don't like chocolate. I don't even remember what we had, I just remember having so much fun. Alright, the steering wheel. We're gonna drive the RPD out of Raccoon City. <laughs> oh god, what's gonna be behind this door? It's gonna be Kendo, right? Oh. Maybe this was like too difficult to... Oh! Ha! Ah. Although he just shot through the Leon, but okay. Why is the zombie on fire? <laughs> It's like, okay, Kendo, are you a hero or a coward? Because you're kind of like all over the place. I have seen the Dead by Daylight thing, but I'm really, really bad at that game, so that's why I haven't, like, done anything with it. Hello, lovely Jade. Happy Saturday to you, too. Oh, thank you, Lightning. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. A couple people have asked me. Like, I know that Susie put herself in the Resident Evil 2 remake. And, like, I think JJ did, too. But I don't know. I feel weird. And then I'm like, I don't know. Maybe one day.
Oh, if you don't mind, sir, I'm gonna take these bullets. Thank you. I need to use my inventory stuff. Wow, easy mode really is easy. Is there something in here? No. Oh, crap. I need the shotgun rounds. Whoa! Okay, well, I can get him now. said it's been a while since I've played this oh diamond thank you so much for the 10 pounds I don't know just have my money even after I made a butt plug joke you're still you're still such a good friend thank you so much <clears throat> yeah hunter um, I'm gonna play Dino Crisis I really I, I played the first one already I want to play Dino Crisis 2 with Lisa J because she was also a voice actor for that um, she was Paula, and from what I know, she's never played Dino Crisis in any capacity, so I think that would be really fun. But also, like, I only played Dino Crisis 2 you once, so I need to do that again. Guy. I also need to play, um, uh, what is it called? Parasite Eve 2 again. Oh my god, you guys! Thank you, comic girl, for the $2. Thanks, much appreciated. Hey, Kai, thanks for everything. Take this. Of course. Daniel Dark Magician, thank you for the five pounds. Ada is Samantha from Sex and the City. John was too small and Krauser was too large and played rough. Oh my god. <laughs> I actually watched Sex and the City, so I actually know what you're talking about. Actually. I learned a lot about women watching that show. <laughs> I'm sure it's all completely 100% accurate. This is what you're looking for. And in right? case you're wondering, I'm a Samantha. Oh my god, what the fuck? I'm so scared. Oh my god. Why? Why? Wow. That was surprisingly terrifying. What the fuck? I don't I this mod. Well, I just realized something. Is my chat okay? <clears throat> okay, what do I have now? Oh, I have the diamond key now. Okay, now we can go down there. Oh, nobody! Thank you so much for the twenty dollars, you guys. Ah, oh, really, really, thank you because like. I feel so much better. I was like mortified after last week. Like I felt so stupid with all the problems I was having and all the technical difficulties. I was just like, oh my god. But like, I hadn't eaten. I was really hot, so I think I was just having an off day. You know, we all we all have off days like that. I'm human. You're human. So thank you guys for being cool about it, and not making too much fun of me. I just like how immediately when I start this stream, everybody's like, check your mic. Because you guys are looking out for me. Thank you. Oh my god, yeah. Michigan Report from Hell is on my, my playlist. I've got a giant list of all the games I want to live stream for you guys. So, like, I, I will get to all of them at some point. We're not going to run out of games to play anytime soon, I promise. today it really is <laughs> I did not use and abuse you I used and discarded you 
Actually, I didn't. You're still in my inventory, see? Oh, wait, let me check it. Now you're in my inventory. Diamond key. Because otherwise you're just the... Ah! What? 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 Ah! What just happened? Did I miss something? <laughs> I just panicked because I heard Kendo scream and I didn't know if I was missing something. <laughs> and gaming entertainment, thank you for the for the one dollar and for tuning in. You did not miss anything. I saw you I saw you stop in earlier. I do read the chat, you guys. What's this thing? Oh, I can take that. Ha ha ha. I love this room, I don't know why. Hey, the glass isn't broken. Now that I think of it. Thanks. Much oh wait, it is broken, never mind. Take I'm just this. <laughs> <clears throat> My favorite key is the club key. I think it's just because it was the hardest one to get. I, I have one that a friend made for me a long time ago. It's not like completely accurate, but she made it from like literal metal from scratch because she had like a little workshop and it was a really nice gift. Um, what was I gonna say? I'm also working on, I was gonna do a video where I showed you guys my like video game collection and my Resident Evil stuff, but then I realized I've got too much to cram into one video. So I thought I'd like break it up. So I'll have one dedicated video for all the Resident Evil stuff I own. It's not that much. I mean, I'm sure you guys have much more impressive collections than I do, but in case, I don't know if you guys want to see what I own or whatever. Uh, Diamond Key, Martin's office. Okay. Hello Project Evil. I thought Kendo broke that window. So did I. Oh god, I hope this liquor doesn't kill me because, oof, this might be bad. Okay, I might get killed here, but let's just see what happens. Run, Leon! I'm gonna save my game now because I'm scared. <laughs> my favorite herb. My favorite herb is not in this game. Let's put it that way. Okay, uh, we don't need the plugs right now. And I don't need the valve handle right now, but I will take the ink ribbon. Haha. -ha. And I'll take a first. Well, yeah, I'll just take one just to have it. Let's shave the game. Alright, talk to you later, Mark. Thanks for tuning in, buddy. Gonna get the Leon haircut soon. Nice. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I, like, I was like, my hair always looks like shit, and I can't get it, like, how does Leon get his hair to look the way it does? So I looked up, like, beauty tutorials, and I found all these, like, videos on how to, like, style your hair, and just with, uh, a little bit of, so there's this spray that you can buy called, uh, sea salt spray, which is also called texturizing spray, and because my hair is very fine, it just goes flat no matter what I do with it. So what you do is with damp hair, you spray it with the texturizing spray and then you just blow dry it and your hair just is like And then you, you comb it and style it the way you want. And that's what I've got here now. And I just sealed this with hairspray so that I can do this and my hair doesn't go all over the place. Oops. Got so distracted. Oh, oh. In case anyone out there that helps you with any current hair problems you're having. Whoa! Where are they all coming from? Where are they? What? There are more zombies than usual. I have not had a gummy today. Oh, don't eat film. 
Yeah, well, today I'm gonna have to get it cut a bit short, just because my hair's really damaged from the bleach. Like, all my ends are, like, completely fried, so she's probably gonna have to cut it, like, maybe up to here. Whoops. So, we'll, we'll see what my hair looks like. <laughs> I just come back with, like, a shaved head. I actually filmed a Leon hair tutorial video, and I was I was cringing so hard at myself that I just deleted it. Or I didn't finish it, I just I was like, no. <laughs> oh, thank you. Man. Oh, God, there's no quick turn. Fuck. Marvin. Marvin, no. Are the files different? No. Oh, that's so sad, that note. Welcome to the RPD. And then, like, the party hats and the sodas. It's so cute that they're going to throw Leon a little party. <gasps> that would be a great mod. Resident Evil, like, Raccoon City never got infected. And then you get to see Leon on his first day at the RPD. <gasps> oh my god, could you imagine? Like, in an alternate universe. Leon's first day on the job. Great, huh? My favorite weapon in all of Resident Evil, not just Resident Evil 2, is the Desert Eagle. The, the one specific to this game that Leon has. There's a Tokyo Marui, like, replica, and that's like my dream Resident Evil collector's item. Oh, I totally forgot to tell you guys. I have a P.O. Box now. Ah, uh, I, I completely forgot to tell you guys. I'll be doing like a little like video, like the P.O. Box is open now, but for the cool people who are here in the chat with me right now, um, yeah, I feel like an adult now. So what ended up happening, you know how I've been putting it off. I ordered a Titus cosplay from like, I don't know, probably China. I'm not sure where this company's based. And then it, um, the, the front gate doesn't work. So I miss a lot of packages. And when I went to their website trying to figure out there's no like UPS or Fed, there's nothing. And then they said in fine print, if the package is not received in 15 days, we will destroy it. So I basically spent $200 on a cosplay that I'm never gonna be able to get. And I was so furious. And then I was like, you know, if I had a PO box, this wouldn't have happened. So I was like, I literally, when I had that realization, I went and opened a PO box. Oh, you bitch. Literally. Bad dog. Um, in case you're wondering, the address is, if you go to my YouTube channel in the About tab, I put it there. Um, I don't remember it off the top of my head. Paper's here somewhere. But, yeah, and, like, please don't, oh. Justin Locke, thank you so much for becoming a member. I don't know why my member notifications aren't popping up. But thank you so much. All you, you members will be in the next video I make. Oh man, I'm working on a good video for you guys. It's so stupid. It's kind of along the lines of this mod, but like... Hold on. Up, up, down, up, down. Up. Up. I have to do this without talking because I'm going to get confused. Down. Up. Down. That was a horrible sound. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so my next... All I'll tell you about my next video is I have to wear a motion capture suit for it and it involves Resident Evil 3. That's all I'm going to say. <clears throat> oh, the hardest boss in all Resident Evil games? Oof. Hmm. I have to think about that. Sorry about that. When I saw the 
uniform. Why is the music so loud? Who are you? <laughs> Ada Wong. You ate a what? What are you doing here? I'm looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types. Always looking for a I'm gonna box myself to you. Yeah, don't mail yourselves, please. Only there's a wrecked car That's not only illegal, but you probably will die. I've been trying to find another way inside. Uh, aggro, yeah. If we work together, it's weird. We can move this thing. But, you Give know. Me a hand here, will you? Since all you guys are Resident Evil fans, I assume that you are smart and understand <laughs> vaccines and viruses at this point. I don't need to go into that, so... All right, come on, Ada. Push it real good. Mm -hmm. Oh, Elegons, that's a great idea. Rules. Great! I thought you were one of them. But don't you worry, girly. You'll be safe in here. I'm keeping a close eye on things. Uh, Ada, wait! <laughs> What's going on in this town? I know, right? This is amazing. I love this so much. Oh my god, Diamond. Do you want me to tell them what you did? <laughs> Nothing in there. Anything out of the ordinary. Ben! Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up! Now! <clears throat> what it's do like you the beginning want? of a gay I'm porn. I'm trying to sleep here. Sorry about that. Is this the guy? Ben? <laughs> you told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here. Ever so. since he died, I never see him anymore. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why well, would I, I want to tell, tell you? you. <laughs> okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? <clears throat> I have it right here, officer. But I'm not but about, I'm not to, about leave to leave this cell now. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. Kendo. Oh, damn it. Every time I'm like, I'm trying to guess where they're going to throw in stuff. Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. <clears throat> I'll tell you guys in a Get second. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel, I really is a prefer Go Ben's through and it'll lead you like to the sewer entrance, but this style versus the Resident Evil 2 remake. All right, I'm going. They just made him look too different, you know? Like just keep his outfit. It's simple, it works. Okay. So Diamond uh, I don't remember what the package was. She was mailing a package to someone or something. And, like, two days later, she gets her package in the mail. You want to know why? Because she mailed it to herself on accident. <laughs> like, how do you even do that? <laughs> we gave her so much shit about that. Probably not as much as her family did, but... Uh, this isn't Starbucks water, it's just in a Starbucks thermos. I got it when I worked there. For some reason, a lot of people think I lied about working there, like I was faking it, but I actually did work there. Remember guys, we oh fuck! Goodness. 
Okay, Diamond. You're so pretty. And we love you. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Asshole. Yeah, so basically with the P.O. Box thing, I did work at McDonald's. Oh, that was my first job. I hated working at McDonald's. I had a really bad experience, but that was more of the employees. Like, people threatening to beat me up in front of the manager, and she thought it was funny. Like, it was that kind of work environment. Not a good time. But then I worked at Whataburger. That was awesome. So much fun. Oh, Dark Hero, thank you for the $5. Hello Kai, Here. second favorite this is what you're looking for, right? Resident Evil weapon, also 50 facts on mic. <laughs> yeah. Third favorite Resident Evil weapon. Okay. Hmm. Oh god, that's a hard one. I mean, the Desert Eagle, by far, every game, it's my favorite. Um, I'm gonna save. <laughs> After I clear my inventory. Oh man, that's a really hard question. I know this might be a lame answer, but the handgun, like, I'm cool with, with the handguns. Specifically, Claire's in this one is really nice. In real life, that's the Browning HP, and I don't know how it is in other games, but I like that it's got a lot of kickback to the zombies. Like, it really pushes them back a lot more than Leon's, even though it doesn't hold as much ammo. Uh, and I really like Claire's crossbow, but it's it really is only good in this game. Actually, in Code Veronica, the crossbow with the bolt, the, the bolt, what are the, the exploding rounds, whatever they're called, um, yeah, that's my answer. And I'm not doing 50 facts about Mike, there's literally no information about him, trust me, I looked when I did my Resident Evil 4 Secrets video, I, I research every character in every game to make sure I don't miss something, and then I still do, like, there's, there's, I think I'm gonna have to do a, I don't know what to title it, but like a, here's all the things in the games I've already covered that I found out after I made the video, you know? Like I, I found stuff about Resident Evil 1 Remake, I found stuff in Resident Evil 2, like things that I was like, oh man, I wish I had known about that when I did that video, so maybe once I have enough for that. And uh, oh god, Drunk Diamond. Goodness. All right, we have to watch all the cutscenes because I don't know what's gonna happen My in any of them. Leon. I'm with the RPD. It's a dead end. Huh? You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll, I'll go, go and check. check. Yeah. Daniel Jack Magician, thank you for the two pounds. Have I ever worked or been to Jack in the Box? I've been to Jack in the Box maybe like five times in my life. The fuck was that? Oh god, they're gonna start grilling. Fuck! <sighs> now my whole house is gonna smell like fucking butane. Um, I've never worked at Jack in the Box though. I have only worked. The only f food service jobs were McDonald's, Whataburger, and then I worked... Oh yeah, I was a waiter at Pizza Hut. And then I worked at Starbucks. And out of all of those, Whataburger was the most fun, but Starbucks was by far the best. Because um, I love coffee, I had really great coworkers who I'm still friends with, and I was at the one off of Hollywood Boulevard, so it was really, really... I, I found out later that it was like... I think it's like the second or third busiest Starbucks in America, and I believe it because it was just, there was always a line out the door. There was never any downtime, so your shift would go by really fast. But it was cool because when you work at Starbucks, you can, while you're working, you can have as many free drinks as you want. So like, if you ever go to Starbucks and you're wondering why the baristas are so perky and happy, it's because they're pumped full of like uh, an insane amount of caffeine. Like, sometimes coworkers would have, like, three drinks in the back. <laughs> that's, that's my favorite key. 
So the thing about, okay, I know Ada's not wearing heels, but do you guys remember in the 90s, for those of you who are around, see how she's got leggings on? There was these leggings that women would wear that had like a hook that would, I guess, like go under the heel. And I think that's what it, what they were going for because that was like a, a look back then. I don't know what those were called, but I remember those. Like, because I remember even as a kid who had no interest in clothing, let alone women's clothing, I was just like, why do women wear that? That seems uncomfortable. <clears throat> oh, Kendo. Did he just die? <gasps> Ooh, sorry about that. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? He just... Oh my god! Oh! I'm like horrified right now. Oh. Leon, can you hear me? Oh, uh, Rise of Zin, thank you for the $3. Ada, I am having a fantastic day. Thank you for all of you. Right here. For tuning in and being here. This is awesome. Think fast. Here's one more. <laughs> she just like clocks him in the head. Thanks. Like, hey, much appreciated. I can't reach the ventilation Take this. Point. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. Ada, wait! What? Ada, wait! Yeah, women do wear a lot of things that are uncomfortable, but, you know, I appreciate that. I, I know what it's like to wear things, just... I always say, like, uh, fashion over function, you know? Because, let me tell you, I've owned some boots that looked great, but they fucking destroyed my feet. You know, like you get home at the end of the day and your feet are literally bleeding. <laughs> You're like, hmm, maybe I need to reevaluate my life choices. I'm gonna take the crank because I'm gonna need it. The one and only W, thank you for the $2. White in games. See, the thing is, black, gray, and white are neutrals. Mmm, well. Oh, fuck off. I'll have to think about it because I've thought about black and white, but it's. it's the hardest color like cuz I mean they're neutral they're called neutrals for a reason and fun fact everything matches with black and white if you ever need to put together an outfit literally everything matches with black and white and gray because there's no color there uh, Steven Rainmaker thank you for the three dollars and the cute little is that a little you lemon lose, lemon dude Winking at me. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, thank Here, you, Tim Barnett. This is what you're looking for, right? for the twenty Canadian dollars. Oh, Adriville, Safspin, or Aquacure. It's very funny that you ask that, and because you were so on the on the nose, I will say that that's actually. Very, very, very related to the video that I'm putting out, hopefully this week. Um, and to answer your question, Safsprin, because I think Safsprin is literally, like, designed for headaches. Here. This is what you're looking for, right? That's all I'm going to say. But I do like the sound of Aquacure. Like, it sounds like, like some sort of vaporwave drug. Although, I don't understand, are, are, I know Safspring's a pill, but isn't like Adravil like in a tube or something? Like it's like a lotion? I should know this as a Resident Evil fan. And Tiffany Fox, thank you for the 10 euros just stopping by to say hi. I'll watch the stream later. Thank you so much. Excuse me. <laughs> Tendo! Hey, he's not all bloody anymore. Ooh, he helped me out. Thanks, buddy. You should be safe inside here. Uh, no. Uh, thank you, Max Mad. 
I'm glad to hear it. The one and only W, thank you again for the two dollars. Twenty-five facts. Ooh, about Jake Mueller. Ooh, and Piers. Yeah. Eventually I'm I'm gonna cover them. I've actually been started uh <laughs> I can't English. I've actually started to look into doing Final Fantasy characters. Um just I don't know, I'm on a weird Final Fantasy X thing right now. And I started like Basically what I'll do is I'll watch videos and then I'll see like, oh, I didn't know that about, you know, this character. And then I'll add it to a list. Fuck! My favorite gun and I can't pick it up. Crap, and I forgot to use... Oh, okay. We're coming back. I'm gonna go get the side pack. You lose, big guy. And Comic Girl, thank you again for the $5. Oh my god, so true about black and white. My mom used to tell me that all the time and now she tries to retract it. Someone finally agrees with me. No, it's true. Like, okay. So there's this big fashion faux pas where if you wear a brown belt with black shoes, that's because, like, it's not that the brown and the black don't go together, it's because whatever you're gonna match it with, it's just, just don't do that. I mean, at the end of the day, you can wear whatever you want, but if you wear sandals and socks, people are gonna make fun of you behind your back. Just saying. But if that's, if that's how you want to live your life, then you go on right ahead and fuck the fashion industry. <laughs> oh, more ammo. Haha. -ha. Hmm. I guess I'll take the submachine gun too, since we're not playing through Claire's, because I don't think Claire has a mod for this part. Hmm, I'll save it. I'll save it for a boss or something. <clears throat> Ever do a video on that room? The guy had this thought. The one and only W, thank you again for the $2. Black and pink are the least appetizing colors. Actually, that's not... Well... I don't know about black, but blue... If you watch my video on blue, I specifically talked about that. And that's one of my favorite things about blue that I like... I love is uh, you subconsciously... Thanks. Um, Much appreciated. Take this! Your body is repulsed by blue things, naturally. Because in nature, there are no blue foods. Even blueberries are purple. If you guys are wondering what we're talking about, go watch my color theory videos. I put, like, I research so much and I put so much time and effort into those videos. And I know they didn't get that many views, but, like, I'm still happy that I made them because I promise it's interesting. I'm not just saying that. And I recently watched a really interesting video about, um, like, blue butterflies and how their wings are designed so they're not actually blue. It's just the way that the light hits them makes your eyes see blue by removing red and green. It's really weird. Like, nature's crazy. Oh my god, Dante Ravioli. Yeah, I love those videos. Like, can I beat this game with, like, a stick or whatever. Oh. I... <laughs> what the hell? Kendo is literally just breaking through fucking everything. Like, is he okay? Ah, uh, Bropez, thank you for the two dollars for all the thick boys and girls out there. Hell yeah. Shake what your mama gave you. What the fuck, Kendo? You lose! Big guy. Oh damn it, I did forget the deagle. Thank you for reminding me. Wait, do I have yeah. Thank you. I would have not been happy about that. Okay, this zombie is annoying. <clears throat> Thank you. 
All right. 50 caliber action express. Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's a power of pine saw. <laughs> way it'll be faster oh hey Beto everybody's here today it's a big old party I was worried because I actually woke up a little bit hungover today but I'm fine now all my neighbors were being like crazy loud last night and I was getting really angry. So I was like, you know what, screw it. And I just had like a whole bunch of wine because I had had a glass of wine with dinner. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going all out. And then I had like a big glass of wine after that. And I was just like, ah. <laughs> I want to check if it's against YouTube terms of service, but maybe one day I'll do a, a gummy stream. Because I'm interested to see how good I can be at Resident Evil if I'm just, like, baked. Because, <laughs> like, it'd be interesting to, you know, at the big end of the stream I'd be fine, but then by the end of it I'd be like... Uh, I don't know why it's in the star's office. Gaming entertainment, um... Yeah, I don't know. They, they they changed a lot of stuff in that game, so who knows what their reasoning was. I'm sure it was a gameplay design choice. Because I feel like you get the magnum really... Whoa! Really early in that game. <laughs> I don't like wine. That's how angry I was. Uh-oh, zombie party. Yes, I must say. All right, let's go down the dust chute. Thank you, Beto, for the 20... Turkey? What is what is the currency in Turkey? I don't know. But... Oh, Barry! So the way I wrote the Miss Redfield song, I, I've i sort of like written a third of a new song that maybe eventually I'll do a music video of it for you guys. It's about like the stars team. And I put the, oh, Barry, in it as a lyric specifically because of you, Beto. It's like, he'll pop out at any moment. I love this. Whee! Leon just lands on his head. <clears throat> no! Get away! No! No! Bang! Oh my god. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. Wow. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna have to get a Pepsi in a second. Jesus Christ. Ben! Can you still hear me? Come on, answer! <laughs> Damn! I don't believe this. I almost got the story. <coughs> ben. <laughs> Bitter irony. The chief of police, a co-conspirator. Get that story. 
scum. Make him pay. Hang in there, Ben. Oh, my chest! It's burning! What's wrong? Oh, God. Good God, what was that? Good God, what was that? It's none of your business. Where are you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, wait! Hey! You guys, I have drank so much water, and I get a Pepsi once a week. Let me have this. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I love that line. I don't know why. She just sounds so cool. Okay, I'm gonna pause here, and I'm gonna switch over to my BRB screen, and I'm gonna go get a Pepsi. the world of survival horror, shall we? <clears throat> I don't drink Pepsi for my health, I drink it for my sanity. <laughs> I need something once in a while, you know, just a little bit of sugar. Okay. Also, I want to show you guys one of the deaths in this game, because I feel like a lot of people haven't seen it, and I, in my opinion, it's one of the most gruesome deaths in Resident Evil 2. It's those, the little thing that busted out of uh, Ben's body. If those things kill you, it's it's pretty graphic. I mean, you know, for the time, but still. Leave me alone. Uh, check, man. I like Japanese beer. I'm I'm a little picky about my beer. I don't really like American beer. Like, I, oh my God, Pepsi sponsoring me—that'd be amazing. But no, I don't want to. I don't want to promote junk food. I feel bad. But never say never, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna die on purpose so that you guys can see this death. Oh my god, I'm gonna stream Pepsi Man. <laughs> if if Pepsi sponsors me, I will stream Pepsi Man. Oh my god, there's Kendo. Oh bro, best thank you for the two dollars and some sugar for me. Hashtag no homo. I love you buddy. Kendo, don't just stand there, help me. Alright, so I'm gonna let those little things kill Leon so you can see what I mean. If they will come over here. 
And Daniel Dark Magician, thank you for the two pounds. Kyle, you love the hard stuff. Yeah, I like whiskey. I like, you know, just nurse in a glass on ice. Hurry, kill me. Oh no, I'm uneasy. This is gonna take too long. Come on. Here we go. Watch. Oh, it's censored. Ah, oh, damn it. This is the Japanese version. That's why. Okay, well, for the. If you ever play Resident Evil 2 and have the opportunity to see, you can see for yourself. Sorry, I forgot I'm playing. Salsa next, though. That's what this says. Source next. It, does it. it says PlayStation. <laughs> Death by pupates, yeah. Poor Lisa. I think she's like desensitized to that word now because of you guys. <laughs> Alright. Now let's go fight this guy the proper way. No, but basically it like burrows, and it does the same to Claire. It burrows like into their chest, and they're like screaming, and then just blood just gushes out, and they like are basically murdered from the inside. It's really horrible. <laughs> it is essentially what you saw, but with the dramatic, you know, classic death or whatever. Get the fuck off me, I'm not your dad. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to get your hopes up. Ada! Running off like that was reckless and stupid! What She's was like, that all about? You don't have to spray Running it. off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere. Not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there, Leon. I know. Look, Ada. As an officer, it's my job to look out for you. <clears throat> but we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together. Okay? All right. We'll do this your way, for now. I'm saving the machine gun. Because I feel like... I usually use it for the first broken fight on the tram thingy. Wait here, I'm going to my man cave. No girls allowed. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, and I recently found out, like this is an example of one of the uh, secrets and Easter eggs that I wish I knew about when I did my video. Uh, you know when you pick up the secret, like, you have to light the, the flare gun, and then you can pick up the key that opens the magnum parts box? Well, I found out if you just violently mash the X button in that spot, you can just pick up the key. You don't have to go out of your way to do it, but I'll show you guys when we get to that part. It's not, not quite yet. What are you doing here? Hey, wait! Hey, 
<laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Sorry, but don't you worry. Hold on. <laughs> Ada's just like, anyway. <laughs> uh, thank you, Dale, for the five pounds. I'm glad that you're able to experience this. <laughs> Thanks. Much appreciated. Take this. This mod is a lot. And fun fact there, if you don't equip Ada with a gun, there's an alternate thing where she shoots the wall. And if you approach backwards, Ada will turn around and then Annette will shoot her gun off. Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? Who are you? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My oh my god. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus <clears throat> away from me. G-Virus? It's capable of creating I like how they're doing the Metal Gear Solid virus. thing where they repeat everything as a question. Greater than that of the G-Virus. G-Virus? Then that must mean the creature in the police department is... Precisely. <clears throat> my husband, William. And it's all Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. It's true. Let's just enjoy this cutscene. It's been a while. Let's appreciate it. This way. It's sheer perfection. My precious G virus. No one will ever take <clears throat> you away from me. <laughs> Cut to. Wow, I never realized that. No one will ever take it away from me, and then there immediately is. someone takes it away from so me. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G virus sample. Sorry. But I won't just hand over my life's work. You might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that one wound first. Stay here. Alpha is my creation. Roger. Are you telling me that he injected the G virus into his own body? Ada was supposed to be in this cutscene, I'm pretty sure, but they didn't finish her her CG model in time for the game's release, so she doesn't appear in any of the CG cutscenes. Sorry, I'm just throwing out facts and trivia, you know. You know me. It's what I do. What is this thing? COVID origins. Hurry! What is this thing? Fire! Fire! I kind of wonder if they didn't finish William's model either, because you barely see him in this cutscene. But it's really effective, because it's like, like it's like mysterious. Like you really want to see what he looks like. So like those rats were the carriers of the virus, or whatever. Oh my god. So those rats were the carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any virus. <clears throat> I can't skip cutscenes, by the way, on this version, so... I can skip door... uh, whatever's... door animations. ...the ability to implant embryos into other creatures... ...and create offspring. No. 
can't fight. She stole my cheese. Too bad. <laughs> put all the, the Resident Evil characters in like a real world situation. Like a big brother, put them in a house together and just see what happens. I would watch that. Much appreciated. Take this. <laughs> that was good timing. Ada. <sighs> Kendo. Oh my God, they're looking into each other's eyes. Uh, Daniel Dark Magician, thank you again for the two pounds. Who shot William in this version and the remake? So that was actually changed. Um. Hunk was standing next to the guy who shot William in this version, but in the remake, Hunk uh, shoots William himself. I don't know why that change was made. I don't think it's... Wait. I think Hunk is the one who shot him. I know that he did in Darkseid Chronicles. Oh god, now I'm confused. One of them shot William. I can confirm that much. But I'm not 100% sure, and I don't want to give out wrong information. Because, believe me, if I say something wrong, I do not hear the end of it in the comments. So I've been very careful about things ever since learning that about my channel. Oh fuck, I forgot the fucking valve handle. <sighs> Comic Girl, thank you for the $5. Question, if the water was contaminated, why didn't Annette turn into a zombie? Because she had access to the antidote? Huh. The, the virus... Uh, if the movie is accurate, it's protein, which means it goes from liquid to blood to air. But, I don't know if you can absorb it through your skin. So maybe that's why... Oh, I see what you mean, because she fell in the water. She was submerged. Well, let me tell you, if there was any motivation to hold your breath and close your eyes, that would be it. But yeah, that's that's actually a good point. Although, you know, Resident Evil characters get bit all the time, so who knows. And Rise of Zin, thank you for the three dollars. Did you watch Infinite Darkness? I did. So okay, quick hot take. So I'll ex I'll, I'll I'll let me say my game real quick. So you guys understand why I'm having trouble formulating an opinion on it. The thing that bothers me the most is in the games, Leon and Claire split up. Chris and Jill split up, that's fine. It's for the gameplay, we understand. But when you're in a movie, it's like, it's just a giant cutscene. You can have the characters interact with each other. So, Degeneration split up Claire and Leon. Okay, you know, Claire did her thing while Leon did his and they were sort of working together, but like not really. And I was like, okay, well maybe with Infinite Darkness, you know, we're gonna see a lot of interaction between them. Nope. Claire and Leon barely even spoke during Infinite Darkness, and it was really frustrating, especially at the end, because, like, I'm like, they're, like, best friends. Why is this happening? Ah. <sighs> so, like, I think that was a really big missed opportunity in that series, is, like, I would literally watch Claire and Leon having dinner together and be entertained. Just, it would just be so special seeing them together, and I don't think the the people running the show at Capcom or whoever was in charge of it realized that. It's like, we don't need them in these giant action sequences. We don't need them fighting zombies. We just, we just want them, you know, doing stuff together. And they didn't. It's very frustrating. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. Like, you know what I mean? Is that just me? Because that's how I felt. And, like, also, not to be that guy, but it was basically degeneration all over again. It was almost the exact same storyline. <sighs> oh my god, I'm, like, riled up now. Don't ask me about that anymore, because, <laughs> like, I'm done. I might do a review on it, I probably... I don't know. 
I'm just frustrated. And then, like, another thing, too, a lot of you may be wondering why it's um, in four parts as opposed to just being a movie. From what I could tell, there was a lot of flashback scenes, and I think they might have not had enough footage to make a movie. So they, like, fleshed it out into episodes, or they decided while making a movie, hey, you know what, we can continue this, let's make more, and then they decided at the last minute, let's split it up into a series. So if they're doing more, great, because I feel like it was very unresolved, but we'll have to, we'll have to see. Because I would literally watch a show about Leon and Claire, you know, grocery shopping, or anything. It's, it's, yeah. But maybe that only applies to diehard Resident Evil fans and not the general public. Because maybe there's people who only played Resident Evil 2 Remake and don't really know anything else about Resident Evil. So you have to take that into consideration. I don't know. I'm gonna take it out on this giant alligator crocodile thing. Um, Bropas, I would say if you liked Resident Evil 2 Remake, you'll probably enjoy it. Um, it it's really short. It goes by super fast. It's only four episodes, and they're like 30 minutes each, but I would say yeah. It's got the same voice actors and everything, which Leon, was a nice touch. I just found out. John's dead. What? Oh, Kendo Never patched mind. him up. I just noticed Let's that. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't watched it, but Claire and Leon's interaction at the end made me very upset. Because I was like, this is not okay. <laughs> and that's that's all I'm going to say. I know, Claire was like, you guys know how much I love Claire. I was literally like thinking like, why did you even put her in it? She's like, she's barely even doing anything. But anyway, <laughs> let's just, let's, I, I'm having a good day. Let's, let's just move on from that. Ah. Okay, Kendo. Kendo's our man right now. It's all about Kendo. He's the star of this show. <laughs> okay, shaking cakes. What did I miss in the chat? <laughs> What's going on? Another fun fact is Ada's got infinite ammo and... No, she does not have infinite health, but she does have infinite ammo. So, you could just, like, be a coward and let her kill everything like this. If you wanted to. It's not time-saving, but it does save ammo if you really want to kill all the monsters. Actually, I wonder what she does with spiders. Let's find out. Let's do some experiments while we're here. Oh, she does shoot the spider. Oh, shit. Nope. Come on, Ada. <laughs> it's the opposite of Ada Wait. Ada, come on. <laughs> F in chat? What happened? Oh my god, don't do that. I thought the... I thought it cut out. Diamond. I'm always paranoid about, like, my stream cutting out ever since that, well, not that one time, those times. Yeah, the, the actors for Village, they're very aware of their status, so they're kind of hard to get a hold of, but I would be happy to have any of, of the... Well, any Resident Evil voice actor is, like, welcome. It's just, like, it's really scary to reach out to them. I did actually reach out to Sally Cahill, the voice of Ada, but um, she's, like, nowhere on the internet. I can't find... Oh, Kendo's coming with us. It's good to see you're still among the living. Wow, Kendo's just going through the whole game with us. All right. Look at 
in with this rapid fire shotgun. This is so interesting. It's like, how far would Kendo have gotten if he had survived at the beginning? <clears throat> is he just coming with us now? Or is he gonna run away screaming? Wait a sec! What are you gonna do? Where are you going? Alright, so here, normally you have to light this in order to see the key, but if you just mash the X button, weapon key, and it works on all the versions I've tried. But I don't use the magnum parts because I like the way it looks without them. I know that it's more powerful or whatever, but... Yeah, I've watched a couple of their streams where they're like signing stuff together. It's really cool that they've like developed a, you know, a friendship and they all seem really chill with each other, so I'm happy about that. Ada, make yourself useful. I'm like backing her into the court. Oh, Ada! Shoot the zombies. Shotgun parts. Oh, here come the barking dogs. So I will take that. I got so many ink ribbons. In case you guys never saw the video that I did, this game's infamous for not having any bathrooms, but this is actually a toilet right here. So, Ada, move! I'm trying to show people the toilet. Move! Move! Well, whatever, there's a toilet there. Just take my word for it. Ah. <laughs> oh. 
She's fine, her head just got impaled by a claw, she's good. <clears throat> okay. Oh god, is the eyeball still in those face? What just happened? Whoa! Oh my God! I'm Ken. <gasps> I'm Kendo. Oh my God! Oh my God! This is crazy. What just happened? Oh my god, Kendo's going super saiyan, this is crazy. <gasps> what? 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 Oh! Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god, Leon. Is he dead? I... God, Kendall looks like a potato in the inventory screen. Leon! Please don't be dead. He's unconscious. Okay, good. This is interesting, because, like, what? <laughs> yep, Ada's not in here. Something strange is going on. Okay, I guess I'll just leave my submachine gun behind. I just love how he just like threw himself over the railing for literally no reason. 
But apparently that's just what Kendo does in this mod. I wonder if I need the small key. Hmm. Okay, I'm pretty sure I don't need anything else from here. But I'm gonna equip the shotgun because I haven't really used it. Wait, the shotgun only holds five rounds? I thought it held seven. Whatever. I have to go look for Ada. What? Oh, she's in the thing. With Kendo? Davey, I'm having a great day. The last time I shaved my beard off, uh, the last time I shaved, I don't know, is this a beard or a goatee? I don't even know what to call it. But last time I shaved it was the last time I cosplayed as Leon, actually. Whenever I did that video, I think it was like last Halloween. Every time I shave it, I look like lot younger and different, it's weird. Daniel Dark Magician, thank you for the two pounds. Resident Evil Wiki says USS J Martinez shot broken. Okay, yeah. Oh fuck. God damn it. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, hold on. It's salvageable. Yeah, cause well, cause goatee is like mustache, and then it goes into like the beard. But I, is it just chin hair? <laughs> I need to trim it. I really want to dye my hair green, but I won't. Not yet, anyway. I might in, in the cup next couple of uh, weeks or so. Remember when I dyed my hair red for that Dino Crisis stream? I have the same dye, but in like a teal color. And I was like, hmm, it'll show up really nicely on blonde hair. Ew, what is that? What is that? What? You're not allowed here. That's illegal. Oh my god, I shot his arm off. I've never seen that. Is that a new thing? I've never seen that before. Whatever, I'm getting the hell out of here. Goodness. Don't say chin <laughs> Why? <laughs> You can use it for texture, like when you're going down, just like, you know?
But I took the elevator to get down here, and that's what the power is for. Oh, fuck. Zombie's dead. Something happened here. Did it open this door? I don't understand. What did the power do? Where am I going? What's happening? Ada's already dead? Please. Oh my god, is he gonna kiss Ada? But don't you worry, I'm keeping a close eye on Oh no. Poor Leon. I'm just a woman. Oh my god. This is hilarious. Nothing wrong. This is so fucking hilarious. <gasps> Sorry about that. What? What? Am I playing now? <gasps> Leon, I. <laughs> I. I feel like I'm having an aneurysm right now. Did you guys all see what I just saw? What the fuck is going on? Is Leon dead now? I didn't even get to shoot my Magnum. Leon just tripped and fell to death. I don't know. Wait, what? what? I don't even know where to go. What do I do? <laughs> oh no, what's happening? Oh, I guess I'm not going that way. This, I did not see that coming. <laughs> I mean, that that just came out of nowhere. That was like when I watched Titanic and then like they hit the iceberg, I did not see that coming. Is there music? What? Oh god, okay, now we're like really in the mod. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay, this mod just went from 0 to 100 real quick. <laughs> what the? They have asses! Look at that ass. Mm mm.
They're gonna kill me by sitting on my face. And you know what? If that's how I die, that's how I die. I'm so scared to turn any corner now. What's gonna happen? I have to get out of here, okay. You guys, what is going on? You murdered my husband. I know what you're looking for. You came for the T virus, didn't you? But you will never take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. <laughs> I ain't got no clue, darling. Oh. Oh. My God. What is going on? <laughs> I literally don't know how to react right now. I'm gonna, I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna cry and I'm gonna laugh and I'm gonna poop all at the same time. What is going on? Wow. Like this is one of those like, stay till the end kind of okay what's in here now oh god oh god i am so glad that i streamed this for you guys because this is just That liquor has a human head on it. Hold on. Do you see? Is that Wesker? Who is that? What? want to get out of here I don't I'm scared <laughs> I'm not letting anyone leave my town everyone's gonna die wow I just there's so much going on right now oh god <laughs> I thought it was Zack. Forest? Yeah, I I don't know. I, I really can't tell. There, there's just a lot being thrown at me right now. I'm just trying to hold on <laughs> for like... Oh, oh, no. shotgun <laughs> oh my god this mod is making me so happy he literally just stopped working okay all right let's get the hell out of here <laughs> oh man this is one for the history books God, what's gonna happen now? Oh, 
this the end? Am I gonna leave on the train with Claire? Has he even met Claire? <clears throat> this is hilarious. Five minutes until detonation. Alright. Ada's voice, by the way, in case you didn't know. I think everyone knows that at this point, but in case you didn't, now you do. We need more mods like this. Like, I'm I am here for comedic mods. Make me laugh while I play Resident Evil. So that's that's what I'm gonna do. If I end up learning how to make Resident Evil mods, I'm gonna make some funny, funny games. Oh, does this mean I don't have wait. No. No. It's <laughs> Oh, I need to... Oh. Jason Cordero, thank you for the $5. Kendo is Alpha Chad. In, in this, he apparently is. Oh god, I don't know if I can do this. Thank you, Doc Benway 108 for becoming a bronze member. This is so freaking weird. I'm fighting Leon. Did he have something on his crotch? Oh my god, it's his RPD bag. Wow. This this is insane. Who are you? What are you doing? I think that's Kendo up there too. Wait, what? Sorry about that. Leon, no! <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I just blew up Leon, you guys. <laughs> I'm feeling so many emotions, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a seizure. Oh god. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> if I had known Leon was gonna die, I would have used a magnum shot on everything I could. I just wanna see real quick if there's anything in the item box when you're playing as Kendo. Nope, can't even access it, okay. <sighs> yeah, Leon putting the D in RPD. <clears throat> Oh, gotta open the gate. Where's Claire? And where's Sherry? Are they even in this? Yeah, I have in the chat for Leon. Oh my god, is he gonna run? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> See, now he has a reason to run and scream. <laughs> Why does the train sound like a little choo-choo train? <laughs> now what's that? What? I'm just playing with like my PC controller, but this is the PC version. What's happening? Am I supposed to be doing something right now? I I don't know what just happened. I didn't do anything. <laughs> oh. Oh my god.
Oh my god. Kendo's the Terminator. I've never even seen these camera angles. This is crazy. Today is September 22nd. Did that train just take me back in time? Oh my god. If this is actually happening, maybe. Alpha team here. Mission it just keeps going. Okay. Roger. We'll rendezvous at the meeting point. Oh my god, he's gonna stop the outbreak from happening? <gasps> the entire city was infested with zombies. Hold your fire! I'm a human! Thank you, Daniel Drag Magician. Yeah, Thomas the Tank Engine, that's what I figured. A few days later. This is crazy. This is so exciting. It's Leon! Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. <clears throat> How cute. Oh. Sorry, but your party has been cancelled. What happened? Thank you, Mixi Zamaron, for the 50 Mexican dollars. El mejor mod de la historia. Here. Oh my god, they all went back in time. Take out umbrella. Wow, is that it? <laughs> oh my, wow. Resident Evil Nemesis 30, give it up. That was the best mod ever. Yes, all these developers who are involved on this, Mmm. Chef's kiss. It was Michael Jackson as the liquors. Because of course. Oh man, now I want to hear the sounds they were making. Because I bet it, it would make more sense now. Wow. I, I am so happy. That just made my whole week. Yep, classic rebirth patch by Gemini. If you want the source next version for PC, that's what you need to Google. That's all I'm gonna say, because technically it is piracy, I'm not supposed to talk about it, but if you want can most be it. AB Solutions, thank you for the five dollars. I'm in awe at that Thanks. mod, I'm glad we take it. that journey together. Take this. Love you chat, love you chat. Yeah, I'm so glad that Plot Twist by David Lynch. <laughs> I am so glad that we got to experience this together because... Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, they must have just had fun making this. And I got an A rank. Bam! Wow. I'm gonna have to play this again sometime. Because, like, so much happened towards the end. It just... No, I'm not gonna overwrite because I need to... Claire B. Wait, no. No, there's no Claire mod. Right? You can play hard scenario. What? I guess it's the Japanese version has a hard scenario. Alright, guys. That was uh, Kendo's mod. I, I am so glad that we got to go through that journey together, but... I do have to end the stream now because I have to go get a haircut. And um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to be happy for the rest of the day after experiencing that because holy crap. <laughs> ah, all right. Uh, I am going to wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for everyone being here, everyone who donated, all my new members. I love you guys, and I will keep working on videos. Uh, I got some stuff coming up soon, but wow. <sighs> <clears throat> please drink some water have a good day be thankful for the things you have and what day is it Seven. I will 
see you guys in the next stream. So, bye bye. Oh, thank you for the $2, Comic Girl. See you guys later.